Welcome to There to Hear Travels Holland America Koningsdam Food and Drink Tour. I wanted to kick this off with the Navigator app because I love this app. Here I'm showing you how I ordered from the New York Deli and Pizza. You can't get deli sandwiches, but pizza and salad are there available to order ahead of time. There is no waiting in line. Just submit the order and it pops up when it's ready. I can't tell you how much time I have wasted standing in a pizza line on a cruise ship. This was so much more efficient. I absolutely loved it and highly recommend you test it out if you're on the Koningsdam. Now it's time to show you other items that can be ordered through the app. The burgers, hot dogs, and fries from the dive-in. <laughs> really good. What about the buffalo ones? You gotta taste those. Are they spicy? Like, too spicy? Will I be able to handle it? No, they're fine. They're yeah? Spicy. Okay. We got some blue cheese on. Blue cheese and buffalo sauce? Yep. What hot dog did you get? What is that? We got the Dunkin' Dog. It's What's on there? Jalapenos, cheese, and onions. All right. So the fries are good because they're crunchy, but they got a sauce on top. But they're crunchy, so the sauce doesn't soggy them down. It's movie night, so we are taking full advantage of the pizza and deli movie night snacks. So much goodness going on over here. Sliders, wings, nachos, pretzels, and Korean barbecue chicken. Yum! To wash down all of these snacks, we had to order plenty of drinks. We had a great time on board, especially when we were visiting Vincent, our favorite bartender. Here he is making the famous Wang Wang, or maybe I should call it the infamous Wang Wang. I would normally not order a drink like this. It has way too much alcohol in it for me, but I had to see him make it because he has the fanciest bar moves I've ever seen. Something you should know about this infamous drink is that it's not on any of the bar menus that I saw anywhere, but all of the bartenders across the entire fleet should know how to make it. So no matter what Holland America cruise you're on, you can order a Wang Wang, should you so choose. No guarantee it's gonna be made as fancy as the one Vincent made me, but you'll at least get to try the infamous Wang Wang. Thank you. While it was fun watching him make that, I much prefer a margarita instead. I'm not a fan of the margarita glasses, so I request that they put it in a regular glass. Same amount of alcohol, just easier to carry. I also enjoyed the painkiller. The nutmeg was a nice touch. But my favorite drink is the ultimate raspberry lemonade. It's made with Kettle One hand-pressed lemons and fresh raspberries. The only location you can order this is Billboard on board. If you order anywhere else, you'll get a weird drink made with Sprite. In the mornings, I loved getting a cappuccino or a latte from the Grand Dutch Cafe. And in the afternoons, I stopped by the Crow's Nest for an iced coffee. Both are delicious. We tested out room service for breakfast one morning just to enjoy the view from our balcony. And I usually ask for a hot chocolate packet just to help flavor the coffee a little bit. It was pretty good, but our favorite breakfast was when we were in Glacier Bay. Just look at those views. This is in the Lido Buffet. Normally, I like going to the dining room, but we just had to sit in front of those windows. We love the made-to-order waffles, omelets, and crepes. We don't usually do breakfast though, so on to lunch. The dive-in was always a great lunch. We also enjoyed getting snacks from the Grand Dutch Cafe. But of course, no cruise would be complete without making sure you stop at the buffet. We loved checking out what they had to offer, including the sushi. It was good, but nowhere near as good as the sushi in the dining room. That was hands down my favorite appetizer in the dining room the entire week. 
I enjoyed it so much that I actually ended up not eating my entree that night and asked for more sushi as an entree. It was that good. There are several locations to choose from when deciding where to have dinner each night, but we had most of our dinners in the main dining room. We had a lot of steak, a lot of pasta. It was a very delicious week. But of course, we wanted to check out a few of the other restaurants on board too. We started off with the Pinnacle Grill. We kicked off dinner with candied bacon and crab cakes. These weren't just the best crab cakes I've had on a cruise ship, these were the best crab cakes I've had, period. I know the photo of it broken up is not the most appetizing, but I wanted to show you that it's not loaded with a bunch of breading like other restaurants I've had. It was so good, lots of flavor. We both ordered the same type of steak and enjoyed it. I really liked the sauce that they served on the side. One thing I was not happy with was the baked Alaska. I love Carnival baked Alaska, but this one just did not hit that same spot. The same thing goes for the baked Alaska in the dining room. I did, however, enjoy those candies. Now, I know the Lido Buffet has really great views and you can usually get a seat right up in front of a window, but if you want the same view with a more elevated menu, you should check out Canaletto. It's a family style restaurant, so each dish comes with enough for two people, but you're free to order as many dishes as you like. I really enjoyed the meatballs and surprisingly the lasagna. I rarely order lasagna when I go anywhere because I'm typically disappointed, but I loved the lasagna here. It was really good and that's coming from an Italian American who has been raised in a family of really good cooks. Make sure you leave some room for dessert because we both enjoyed our dessert here too. Speaking of desserts, moving on to the best meal of the day. I know I already mentioned that most of our dinners were spent in the dining room. So of course, most of these desserts are from the dining room. I also mentioned that the baked Alaska was not my favorite, but luckily that was not the case for most of the desserts ordered throughout the week. We enjoyed many of these dishes and would definitely order them again. Thank you so much for joining us on our Holland America Coningsdam food and drink tour. We hope you enjoyed it and please click like, subscribe, and if you want to get notified anytime we post a new video, hit that notification bell. Can't wait to see you from there to here.